I'm rich. Why am I unhappy? There are two things in this question. We need to recognize how rich and wonderful our lives truly are. We are often unable to see it. Let's take a look at in very simple terms. Almost everyone in America is better off than the majority of people who have ever lived. Sometimes people can be rich, have good blood pressure, a steady heart rate, and all kinds of physical measures. A family, a house, two kids, a nice dog, whatever, and somehow not be happy. First of all, let me tell you that you are rich, not only in the United States, but every country has elevated its standard of living significantly over the past 100 years. But let's talk about this point. You may need some convincing that we are rich. Think of about your individual life. You've probably had fruit out of season. You've probably have more than one pair of shoes. Now, if you have some kind of housing and everything that, never the mind, out of the season fruit and extra shoes, you're better off than most of the people that are living today. Like I say, everyone's standard of living has increased significantly, so we're not really looking at substances. In fact, in America today, people are more likely to die of overeating in abundance than of starvation. This is true throughout, through, throughout much of the world. But if we look at the wealth, we have to ask, what is happening? Why isn't everybody ecstatic? Well, simply because we are not balanced. We have this basic balance in our lives. Some of us are working too hard. Some of us are playing too hard. Some of us are not taking care of ourselves physically. If we go back to the craft model, we're thinking about being more productive. This is not just grinding harder, it's about being more balanced. We should be thinking about our time, spending our time with our families, doing more things. So if we think about it, it's not just about wealth, it's about our wealth or about our wealth relative to others' wealth. It's about what you give back. It's about the value that you provide to the world. Your gift to the world is to be out there and living in it. You need to be part of things and doing work, leisure and self-care and making that contribution. This allows us to develop our physical abilities, our mental abilities, our social abilities, our motivational abilities so that we may think about the impact we can make on the world. This impact can include helping other people with their physical environments, helping change the culture so that people are working together. By doing these things we improve our shared context. And this is the key for keeping people in balance in their lives. This can be something that you can give as your gift to the world. If you think about it, we're really talking about building relationships and really establishing what it is to be a human being. 